Okay, so once you have your rubber mold removed from the mold frame, you're going to want to clamp it firmly in a vise. And you want to clamp it to the point where you've got a nice solid grip on your rubber, but not so much that you're actually crushing any of your components. So if it's a cast silver part or a cast metal part, you don't have to worry about it. But if it's wax, you definitely want to make sure that you're not actually cracking any of your master part because you don't know if you've got a good injection dynamic for your master mold. So then we use a tool. This is a recurved uh, razor blade. The Eagle Claw works really, really well. It allows you to cut um, while seeing what you're trying to accomplish. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cut a straight line around the perimeter just to get access to the part. And we're starting at the sprue base side and working our way out. And generally, after your initial cut, you're going to have a little contouring to the cut style, okay? And what that's going to do is allow you to establish registration so that this mold will lock up well, okay? So, from the front, what's happening? Let's see if we can show this through the material nice and slow and then cutting down you can actually see the razor blade bring this closer to center slide through the material And I just do that on the perimeter. And then afterwards, as we continue to cut the molds, there's a little bit of wander to my cut to give a sense of registration to hold the parts in. So on one side, I'm going to cut inward and down to create little mounds. Those mounds can be found later as little keyway registrations. So each time I'm bringing the X-Acto knife or the razor blade, whatever you've got, to that surface, where the sprue is, and then walking that channel all the way to the outer edge. Okay. So there's a little bit of variance in each cut, and that's what's locking our pillars in place. But the entire time I'm cutting, I'm squeezing both sides away from one another to make the cut easier. And so if you look closely at this point, the blade is actually to the part edge. And once you make it to the part edge, you can just work your way back and forth. Until you get out. So at this point you can see that's cut. We're going to change to a different angle and show the same process from the other side. So again we're just following that perimeter cut, holding the material open. registration mounds.
And now we're contacting the master part. We can just work our way through the edge. And once you get to the midpoint, it's pretty easy to hold it open. Just know, at the end of the day, if you've been doing this uh, for a while, your hand is going to cramp. Just take your time to go slow. You've got a very sharp razor blade. You don't want to nick your part. And you could cut your mold all the way in half, but it's not necessary. I'm going to leave it closed at one end, just so it's easier to work with. this point, you should be able to access your part completely by opening the mold and then removing your master part. You can see the sprue is broken off from all the loading, but the part is ready to go. It gets sprued for casting and we have our mold, which we can take out. Mold, and here it's our master part. 